Do you want to do you want to talk or do you uh, do you have to go or I understand if you have to go. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I understand. I just to say hello. Okay. Thanks for coming over. Read that. We'll, we'll be out here later as well. I'd be happy to talk to you more. You know, if you have more time some other time. I think uh, you know the remainder of this week we're hoping to come out, especially like after school and lunchtime. That's a lot different. So we'd be happy to talk to you. You know, we're happy to talk to anybody, even if they you know wish death upon us. As long as they don't hit us, it'd be best. You know. I <laughs> would. Appreciate that. <laughs> You uh, you a Christian? You go to church, or where do you go? St. Yeah, yeah, right near campus. Sure, I know it. I went to a wedding there one time. Beautiful building. Yeah, so ch check that out. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff. This is this this transcends abortion. This is an issue of worldview. This is an issue of is Jesus right? You know, can we trust Jesus? That's basically what this is. You know, and it touches every area. Like, is Jesus reliable and sufficient to tell us what to do? In any case, you know, uh, like a good question to analyze that is, do we love Jesus enough that we'll do anything he tells us regardless of what it is? You know, anything, anything at all. Even if it cuts at the heart of our most deeply held desires and values, you know, that we have, that we ourselves have created kind of autonomously. Uh, you know, and that's, that's expressed well. Jesus says, you know, you're, you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself, you know. Jesus also says, like, it's better to enter into hell, you know, or enter, enter, into, enter into eternal life, having cut off your hands if they're causing you to sin, and gouge out your eyes if they're leading you to hell, than to go into hell, like, like whole. He's not saying that hands or eyes can actually lead us to sin. The point is that even things so close to us as your hands and your eyes, we need to embrace the Lord our God and hold Him as the most dear, the most precious, following Him, like taking up our cross, our instrument of execution, doing whatever He says, even if it leads us to death, you know, um, or in our culture more likely, even if it leads us to give up things that we don't want to give up, you know what I mean? So that's what this is about. And uh, you know, doing doing hard things for the sake of Jesus and for the sake of neighbor, and because we believe that Jesus actually is Lord, He gets to tell us what to do. You know, so I don't I don't want to disrespect your time or anything. So. Oh, you're not. I just I have to go home. You know, understand. But it's a very important message you guys. Understand. Thanks for coming to talk to us. God bless you, man. Yeah, I'm asking you to I can call right now and schedule an